Here is how you can start building Chrome extensions using modern tools such as Vite, React, Tailwind, and TypeScript. We're gonna be building a really simple extension that utilizes Chrome API to create a new tab and navigate us to Google. First, we'll use Vite to create our project. Make sure to select React and TypeScript when Vite asks. All right, now you may be asking, isn't this just a regular Vite React project? And the answer is yes. Yes, it is. But here's how we're going to turn this into a Chrome extension. In public directory, create a manifest.json file. This file will be copied to the dist folder when we run the build command. Chrome needs this file as it contains information about the resources and permissions that the extension uses. There are three required fields here, manifest version, name, and version. For manifest version, you always use three. This is the only supported value in the latest version of Chrome. We will need to specify the default pop-up. This is the HTML page that will be loaded when user clicks on the extension button. To allow us to create a new tab using the Chrome API, we'll also need to add tabs to permissions. Let's build our project. We now have a bare bones Chrome extension. Let's test it out before adding Tailwind. Go to Chrome extensions page, make sure the developer mode is enabled, load unpacked and navigate to the dist folder. When you click the extension button, you should see something like this. Great, everything seems to be working. Let's add Tailwind. First, we'll need to install and initialize Tailwind in our project. Modify the content value inside the Tailwind config.js file and add Tailwind directive to our index.css file. Build the project and check out how it looks like now in Chrome. Notice how the Vite and React logo is not on the same line anymore. Let's fix that using Tailwind. In the app.tsx file, add two Tailwind classes to our first div. Build the project again and check it out in Chrome. Awesome, this looks right. We have now successfully added Tailwind to our project. Let's look into how we can hook up that button in the middle to create a new Chrome tab and navigate to Google. Back in our apps.tsx file, let's add on click function that creates a new Chrome tab and navigate to Google. Hmm, notice how we're not getting the proper IntelliSense here for the Chrome API. And in fact, if we're trying to build, we'll get an error. To fix this, we can add Chrome types to our project. Great, now the red squigglies are gone. Add the on-click callback to the button and remove any unused code so it doesn't cause build errors. Now build and try out the extension in Chrome. Congratulations, you've built your first Chrome extension using Vite, React, Tailwind, and TypeScript. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe for more. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.